Welcome to our channel, where we explore the world's most awe-inspiring mega projects. From remarkable engineering feats to groundbreaking innovations, we dive into the stories behind the largest and most ambitious ventures being built around the globe. Join us as we uncover the scale, impact, and future possibilities of these extraordinary projects that are shaping the world we live in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Let's embark on this incredible journey together. Number 10. The Great Man-Made River Mega Project Libya The Great Man-Made River GMR Mega Project is a remarkable engineering endeavor undertaken by the North African nation of Libya. Initiated in the 1980s under the leadership of the country's former ruler, Muammar Gaddafi, the project aims to address Libya's acute water scarcity by tapping into the vast underground water resources beneath the Sahara Desert. Libya, located in the arid and semi-arid regions of North Africa, faces a severe shortage of fresh water due to its extremely dry climate and limited surface water sources. Recognizing the urgent need for a sustainable water supply to meet the demands of its population and agricultural sector, the Libyan government embarked on an ambitious plan to harness the abundant groundwater reserves hidden beneath the desert sands. The Great Man-Made River project involves an intricate network of pipelines, wells, and storage facilities designed to extract and transport water from ancient underground aquifers known as the Nubian Sandstone Aquifer System. These aquifers, formed over thousands of years, contain vast amounts of fossil water dating back to the last ice age. The project comprises four primary phases, with each phase representing a significant milestone in the development of the overall system. Phase I involved the construction of a vast network of wells and pipelines, in the southeastern region of the country around the Kafra Oasis. This phase was completed in 1991, allowing water to be pumped to the coastal areas of Libya, including Benghazi and Sirte. Phase Zoo expanded the project's reach further westward, with the objective of supplying water to the capital city of Tripoli and other coastal cities. This phase was completed in 1996, marking a significant achievement in the project's implementation and providing essential water resources to a substantial portion of the country's population. Phase IE, which began in the late 1990s, aimed to extend the water supply to the western part of Libya, including areas near the border with Tunisia. This phase involved the construction of additional pipelines and pumping stations to deliver water for regions that previously faced significant water scarcity. By the early 2000s, Phase IE was successfully completed, enhancing water security and enabling agricultural development in these areas. The fourth and final phase of the Great Man-Made River Project, known as the Al Jafar Project, is currently under construction. This phase aims to further expand the reach of the project by providing water to more remote regions in southwestern Libya. It involves the construction of new wells, pipelines, and storage facilities to facilitate the transportation and distribution of water across vast distances. The Great Man-Made River Mega Project is an engineering marvel, representing one of the largest and most complex water supply systems in the world. Number 9. Chuo Shinkansen High-Speed Railway Project Japan The Chuo Shinkansen High-Speed Railway Project is an ambitious infrastructure endeavor in Japan aimed at revolutionizing transportation and connectivity. This mega project seeks to construct a high-speed magnetic levitation, maglev railway line between Tokyo and Nagoya, with future plans to extend it to Osaka. The Chuo Shinkansen project represents cutting-edge technology and innovation in the field of transportation. The idea for the Chuo Shinkansen project emerged in the early 1960s when Japan recognized the need for a faster and more efficient transportation system to accommodate the growing demands of its population and economy. The vision was to develop a high-speed rail network using magnetic levitation technology, which would allow trains to travel at unprecedented speeds by floating above the track using magnetic forces, producing friction and enabling faster acceleration. The construction of the Chuo Shinkansen line commenced in 2014, following successful testing and research of maglev technology. The project involves the creation of an entirely new dedicated track built predominantly underground to minimize disruption to existing infrastructure and landscapes. The proposed alignment for the Tokyo Nagoya section is approximately 286 kilometers in length, with more than 80% of it planned to be tunnels. The maglev trains on the Chuo Shinkansen line are designed to reach speeds of up to 500 kilometers per hour, making them the fastest commercial trains in the world. This remarkable speed will reduce travel time between Tokyo and Nagoya from the current 90 minutes to a mere 40 minutes. The technological advancements behind the maglev system also ensure a smoother and quieter ride, enhancing passenger comfort and experience. Apart from the significant reduction in travel time, the Chuo Shinkansen project offers various other benefits. The high-speed rail line is expected to alleviate congestion on existing transportation networks, including roads and conventional railways. 
It will provide a more sustainable and energy efficient alternative to air travel for short to medium distance trips, reducing carbon emissions and promoting environmental sustainability. Number eight, Jubail 2 Saudi Arabia. Jubail 2 is a massive industrial and residential development project in Saudi Arabia, situated along the country's eastern coast. The project aims to transform Jubail into one of the world's largest petrochemical hubs and a vibrant economic zone. Jubail IU involves the construction of petrochemical plants, industrial facilities, housing complexes, schools, hospitals, and supporting infrastructure. The development is a collaboration between the Saudi Arabian government and private sector entities, attracting significant foreign investment. Jubail Atik serves as a crucial pillar of Saudi Arabia's economic diversification strategy, creating jobs, stimulating local industries, and attracting global talent. Number 7. Dubailin Dubai, UAE Dubailin is an ambitious leisure and entertainment mega-project in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Spanning over 278 square kilometers, Dubailin is designed to be a world-class destination offering a diverse range of attractions and experiences. The project includes theme parks, shopping malls, hotels, residential communities, sports venues, and cultural attractions. Notable components of Dubailand include IMG Worlds of Adventure, Dubai Autodrome, Global Village, and Dubai Sports City. Dubailand aims to position Dubai as a leading global tourist destination, attracting visitors from around the world and contributing to the city's vibrant tourism sector. The project showcases Dubai's commitment to innovation, luxury, and leisure. Number 6. Expansion Project of the International Space Station, Space The International Space Station, ISS, is an ongoing collaborative project involving multiple space agencies including NASA, Roscosmos, ESA, JXA, and CSA. The ISS serves as a research laboratory and a symbolic outpost of human exploration in space. The expansion project aims to enhance the capabilities and livability of the space station, accommodating more crew members and enabling a wider range of scientific experiments. The project involves the addition of new modules, including the Russian Multipurpose Laboratory Module, MLM, and the European Robotic Arm, ARA. The expansion also entails upgrading existing systems and equipment to improve functionality and extend the lifespan of the ISS. The project demonstrates international cooperation and pushes the boundaries of human presence and scientific exploration in space. Number 5. South North Water Transfer Project, China The South North Water Transfer Project is a colossal water diversion undertaking in China that aims to address regional water scarcity and imbalances. China's southern regions, which are abundant in water resources, face frequent flooding, while the northern regions, including major cities like Beijing, suffer from severe water shortages. The project involves transferring water from the Yangtze River in the south to the Yellow River and other arid regions in the north. The South North Water Transfer Project comprises three main routes, the Eastern Route, the Central Route, and the Western Route. The project involves the construction of canals, tunnels, reservoirs, and pumping stations. The South North Water Transfer Project is one of the largest and most complex water diversion projects in the world, with the potential to benefit hundreds of millions of people, support agriculture, and alleviate water stress in northern China. Number 4. International Airport Al Maktoum, Dubai the International Airport Al Maktoum is an ongoing mega-project in Dubai, UAE, poised to become the world's largest airport upon completion. The airport is a key component of Dubai's strategy to become a global aviation hub and facilitate the increasing demand for air travel in the region. The project involves the construction of multiple passenger terminals, cargo facilities, runways, and auxiliary infrastructure. The International Airport Al Maktoum is designed to accommodate millions of passengers and handle substantial cargo volumes, further positioning Dubai as a logistics and transportation hub connecting the east and the west. The airport's strategic location and advanced facilities will play a pivotal role in shaping the future of air travel and bolstering Dubai's economic growth. Number 3. Crossrail Project London The Crossrail Project, now known as the Elizabeth Line, is a transformative railway undertaking in London, United Kingdom. The project aims to create a new east-west rail link across the city, connecting areas from Berkshire to Essex. The Elizabeth Line will enhance transportation capacity, reduce congestion, and improve connectivity within London and beyond. The project involves the construction of new tunnels, stations, and interchanges, as well as the integration of existing rail lines. The Elizabeth Line will seamlessly connect major airports, train stations, and business districts, providing faster and more efficient travel options for commuters and visitors. The Crossrail project represents a significant investment in urban infrastructure, promoting sustainable transportation and supporting economic development in the Greater London area. Number 2. High Speed Railway Project, United States 
The High Speed Railway Project in the United States aims to develop an advanced rail network connecting major cities across the country. With the objective of reducing travel times, relieving traffic congestion, and providing a sustainable transportation alternative, this project holds immense potential. Various proposals and initiatives have been put forward, including the California High Speed Rail, which aims to connect San Francisco and Los Angeles. The project involves the construction of dedicated track stations and supporting infrastructure to accommodate high-speed trains capable of speeds exceeding 200 miles per hour. Additionally, other high-speed rail corridors are being explored, such as the Northeast Corridor between Washington, D.C. and Boston, and the Texas Central Railway Project between Dallas and Houston. The implementation of high-speed rail in the United States would not only improve connectivity, but also promote economic development, create jobs, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Number 1. Beijing Airport Project, China The Beijing Airport Project, also known as Beijing Daxing International Airport, is an extraordinary aviation infrastructure initiative in China. The project involved the construction of a new airport to alleviate congestion and accommodate the rapid growth in air travel in the Beijing Tianjin Hebei region. The airport is an architectural marvel featuring a distinctive starfish-shaped terminal building designed by Zaha Hadid Architects. With a total area of 700,000 square meters, the airport is one of the largest single terminal airport buildings in the world. The Beijing Airport Project showcases cutting edge technology, sustainability, and efficiency. It boasts advanced facilities, state of the art baggage handling systems, and extensive automation. The airport is strategically located to serve as an international aviation hub, connecting China with the rest of the world. The Beijing Airport Project plays a pivotal role in accommodating China's growing aviation needs and solidifying Beijing's position as a global transportation hub. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the world's biggest mega projects. We hope you found inspiration in the remarkable endeavors reshaping our global landscape. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content on engineering marvels, technological innovations, and the human ambition that drives these incredible projects forward. If you have any suggestions for future topics or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment below. Until next time, keep dreaming big and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. See you soon.